Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Block's Design Rescue. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going through a project that I call Fruit Faces. It's a an image compositing project that will give you an opportunity to learn how to use the layer masks a little more, how to play with the, the, the brush shapes a little bit more, and also we'll uh, dive into using the blend modes uh, and uh, we'll just have a little bit of fun, all right? That's what it's all about. Let's get right into the project. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a brand new file. And let's set it to a letter size document, 300 DPI. And for this one, we're going to do a web-based uh, image on this one. Uh, we'll go to the web minimum, I think is a good enough size. Make sure that we are in the uh, landscape orientation, not portrait. For this, we'll need it to be 72 DPI since it's a web uh, image. It's only to be seen on screen, not to be printed. And so uh, we don't need it to be much higher. We don't need the 300 DPI. Uh, we'll go ahead and click Create. And there we go. And right off the bat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a couple of images that I've downloaded. Place Embedded. Let's go in. I'm going to ex load up all four of these images. There's the fruit bowl. The first image is a bowl of fruit. We're going to uh, load up uh, some faces into the uh, our layer panel as well so that we can do a little bit of image compositing. Here we go. So file, place embedded. Okay, just bring it in, hit the check mark to lock it in place. Go back to place embedded. Do the next one. There we go. I just double clicked on that, by the way. You can click on the check mark to lock that in place or double click it, or you can click on your enter key on your keyboard. That does the same thing. And there's the last one, and I'll do that just to uh, show you here. I'll hit enter on my keyboard and it locks it in place. I do have auto select checked in the upper left corner so that I can click and choose which one I want to work with. So the next step is let's go over to the um, uh, your layer panel and turn off the visibility. That's the eye to the left of your layer. Turn off the visibility on those three layers. Let's actually just turn on the bottom one, whichever one you want to choose. And I'm going to put this guy's face right over here. Control T. We're going to angle that image to just like that. Press enter on your keyboard. Now, what I'm going to do is simply add a layer mask to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this button down at the bottom of the layer uh, panel that gives you the layer mask. But before you do that, I want you to press and hold your Alt key. Or if you're on a Mac, press the Opt key. So press that key and then click on layer mask. And you'll see that you don't get a white layer mask. You get a black one, which hides the whole image on that layer. And th what we want to do to reveal part of the image or the face of uh, the guy that's on that image, grab your brush and flip to white. Make sure that you have white in the foreground. You use your left bracket key on uh, next to the P on your keyboard to reduce the size of your uh, brush. Or if you like, you can just go up to the top here change the size this way and then you'll be fine so we'll just go with there we go now his face is too large obviously and I got too much of the side of his head we're just starting out so go ahead and grab the move tool press control and T to transform control T and I'm holding shift to constrain the width and height so there we go now I want to stretch it back up a bit get his face to fit that nicely just like that I want to twist it a little bit more to match the angle of the apple and then double click on it now let's go in and fix what's uh, what's what's showing on the side of his face here his ear and his hair I'm gonna reduce the size of the brush use that left bracket key I do have a soft brush just so you can see the hardness is all the way down to zero so Oh, sorry, forgive me, not the white. Flip it to black. Remember, black hides, white reveals. And so we'll just paint that black right on top there. Okay, there we go. We've got a face on an apple, but the problem is the face doesn't match. The color doesn't match at all. So what I'd like you to do 
on the layer panel, don't double click on the name. What you, you do is double click on a blank area on that layer panel. So right over here somewhere, double click. Well, here, do that again. And you will pull up the layer style panel. And what we're going to do is an, a color overlay. Click on to that, uh, that tab. And you can see it gives us a solid black overlay. Let's just open up. You're going to click on that black color. This opens your color picker. And if you pull your cursor to the left and over on the image, you get an eyedropper. So I'm going to select that color. Well, let's see. That color right there. Click OK. And then change the blend mode to screen no let's see it might be a different one overlay there we go maybe overlay let's go through soft light vivid light let's see which one would be a good one hue okay down at the bottom here hue and by the way to roll through what i did was i'm using my mouse wheel i just put the cursor right over the blend mode here it may not work for some of you, but it's working in my computer, so I'm showing you that, that that's what I'm doing. So you might want to try that. If you need to skip through um, to try different uh, blend modes, you can you can click on this to drop down and choose a different one. And ooh, look at that. Color actually matches perfectly. I'm going to leave it at color. And you notice the opacity is here. I'm going to leave it at, I'm going to pull it down just a bit, just like that. Click OK. We've got our first fruit face. All right, let's do another one. We're going to do a, a one on the banana. So we'll open up this image right here. And oh, you know what? This guy's in the right position for. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. This one right here. So Control T, I'm going to zoom out, and then hold the Shift key when you scale it down. Let's get his face to be just the size of the banana. Flip it on its side, kind of like that right there. Okay, so now here's the thing. I'm actually going to use the brush in two different ways. I want to use a soft edge to to uh, get get the the back side of his face blurred out or you know disappeared, and then the front part of his face I want to get uh, I want to take out as well, but with a hard edge so that you can see his face it's not blurred it'll be a nice hard edge and i'll show you what that what that is and what that means when i when i do it here we go press the alt key or your opt key on your keyboard and then click on the layer mask to give us a black layer grab your brush and with white we want to reveal that face just like that and then with black let's go ahead and let's Go like that. Now you can change if it's too, if it's, uh, I'm sorry, if the hardness is too much, if it's too much of a feather, I'm sorry, the softness of it is too much. And you want to make it less of a feather? You can. I would go with more of a feather just to make it, oops, to make it uh, blur, blend in with the uh, banana a bit, bit more. And then, so let's go ahead and get the chin out of there as well. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and I want to cut in along the outside of his face so that we get a nice hard edge along the, the face. Um, so let's make the hardness all the way to 100. I'm going to drop the size of the brush using my uh, bracket keys next to the P once again. And just go straight up next to... Oops, too much. Control Z if you make a mistake. Make sure to get the rest of it over here. I'll show you a, a way that we can uh, check to see if you've got all of your area cleared out or painted in, I should say. So like right over here, if you press the Alt key and then click on the thumbnail for the layer mask, you will look, you'll be able to see exactly where you painted. Um, and you can see over here, I didn't quite get it all the way. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up that area up top. And then press Alt and then click on the layer mask again. And there we go. Now, notice the banana is showing through. And that's because when I used the feathered edge around the outside, it was 
the brush was so large that it started to paint some of the the face um, and start to get uh, transparent so to fix that and if we press the alt key once again to look at it you'll see it's a soft kind of a gray that means that you can see through it if it's a solid white you won't be able to see through it so I'm gonna actually keep it here make my brush a nice hard yeah a hard edge and then paint with white inside the face no sorry I did that wrong let's flip the colors and paint with white once again if you make a mistake oops just like that press control Z okay now down here is not really what I want I wanted just the side of that face but I want to come in and get the eye and then over here oops too much okay now let's let's do that again there we go okay let's see what we're doing control I'm sorry press the alt key and then click on your layer mask again okay we've got a nice the side of the face is here it, it looks good oops flip that to black I want to fix his that little piece right there and then let's soften that edge again I'm gonna open this up let's go to a, a soft edge and let's make the brush a little bit larger and then we'll oops too much on the forehead there okay just one single click at a time if you just need a single click at a time just like that there we go there we go we'll get his chin over here okay now what do you say we change the color if you double click on that blank layer there you go double click let's go to color overlay and it gives us the yellow from um, before but we're gonna actually change that to this yellow click on that right there and choose OK and I'm gonna leave it at color I'll leave it as it is let's make it a little bit more yellow and there we go we got the second fruit face and there we go I know I have a third one here uh, that I could have used but I'm actually gonna stop it right there because just wanted to show you a couple of different ways that you can manipulate the, the brush uh, to get the soft edge to get the hard edge uh, to you know on different areas of your image you may need to choose between the two so be sure to try uh, softening the edge hardening the edge um, and making the brush bigger and smaller to get into the various different areas of your image and make it look great okay have fun with fruit faces and I will see you in the next video